Now, Kenyan lab science professionals have petitioned the National Assembly and the Senate to amend the Kenya Health Drug Bill, amended by the National Assembly to be Health Products and Technology Technologies Bill. Senate violated the medical laboratory science profession and renders their practice in the country untenable. Alice Diana tells us more. Members of the fourth estate. Medical laboratory science professional bodies have raised concerns over the proposed Kenya Drugs Authority Bill 2022. Nice According to the laboratory bodies, the National Assembly has ignored the memoranda of all medical laboratory professional bodies submitted by Association of Medical Laboratory Assessors on behalf of the rest of the professional bodies, though submitted on time. We are not going to condone it. Addressing the press today in Nairobi, the medical laboratory officers led by the National Chairman Nicholas Odipo and National Secretary General Pius Nyakundi noted that should the bill be enacted into law, the entire medical laboratory science profession will lose self-regulation and private practice as it will be under the control of the profession of pharmacy. Pharmacists, the world over, including Kenya, are not practitioners of diagnostic medicine. This professional gap will lead to the violation of, the, of standards of medical laboratory investigations and analyses thereby contravening the constitution of Kenya and endangering the health of the Kenyan citizens and the general public. They also stated that medical laboratory equipment, reagents, chemicals, kits and consumables are used by medical laboratory science professionals on a day-to-day -day basis to produce evidence of presence or absence of disease that aid in case management and are professional tools that cannot be regulated by other professionals without any knowledge of their functionality, suitability and intended use. There's no way you can go and validate what you are not using. This is a recipe for chaos. This is a recipe for substandard uh, medical devices in the country. The said bill wants to take everything, everything to the pharmacy and poisons board. From where we stand, what we know, pharmacy and poisons board is only able to regulate drugs only and not any other medical device so if you want to tell me that we as medical laboratory professions we are not able to know whether the microscope that we use is able to give us the right results that now we are supposed to take that microscope to pharmacy to ascertain that microscope whether it is working or not it is ambiguous the medical laboratory science professional bodies are now beseeching the National Assembly and Senate to either amend the bill or provide explicit provisions of scientific validation and verification of in vitro diagnostics in established and certified medical laboratories. All the medical laboratory science professional bodies hereby represented beseech the Parliament of Kenya, that is the National Assembly and the Senate, to consider the following. Either amend the Kenya Drugs Authority Bill the Kenya Health Product and Technologies Authority Bill to exclude in vitro diagnostics, that is medical laboratory reagents and equipments, from its provisions to avoid the promotion of substandard medical laboratory science practice through substandard diagnostic tools, or provide explicit provisions of scientific validation and verification of in vitro diagnostic in established and certified medical laboratories run by the medical laboratory science professionals to ensure quality, reliability, definite and timely diagnostics. Alice Diana, Hope TV News Watch. To sit with them.